Thanks again for joining us at biztexter.com and here is the video that comes after setting up your initial campaign that you're going to send. This video is on the auto responders. Now it's an artificial intelligence system designed to be able to um, basically like a chat bot um, you can set up automatic replies to what people are saying. If you look right here on the auto replies tab we have standard. All these have huge libraries of phrases of the way people say these things and then we also have machine learning algorithms running um, to help match them so let's just take ours as an example somebody asks um, questions like what are your hours um, and then you can set up the automatic response that goes to them and each one of these um, may or may not have a working uh, little question mark thing here this basically gives you a couple tips on what that particular responder is for um, and you can, um, in the standard tabs, you do not have to specify keywords, but let's say it's missing sometimes, you can add additional keywords to make it smarter. Here are keywords not to respond to, so these are ones that if these words appear in what the person texted in, then it won't trigger this. So you got phrases that will trigger and phrases that will block it from triggering. Um, and so that's really important to make sure you go through and activate um, these little check boxes, turn them on and off, uh, and go through and specify what you would say in each of these, right? So where are you, right? You're gonna wanna have a good answer for that because if you don't, people are gonna think that you're spamming. The most important one, of course, is who, and this is where a lot of people put in their, their initial link. Like we told you before, don't just send a link in your very first um, message. Send something like, you know, like we talked about, uh, hey, first name smiley face right um, inevitably those people are gonna say who is this then you put in your pitch this is Kelly um, you know because she always runs our campaigns but whoever's running your campaigns you have their name there um, and then whatever you wanted to say I you know my records uh, you know I your information was given to me you might be interested in this offer you know here's the URL blah 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 you can specify all that and that way th those links aren't going to people who didn't at least communicate with you um, on some kind of level. Again, um, our AI might be missing keywords, so you can specify phrases um, that people will say. And then, of course, there's an advanced tab here, and you can specify what contact group bucket you want people to flow into. So if somebody says, who is this? I want them to flow into my linked group, who, and that group can be found over here in your contacts tab there's my who group so you can see in this particular instance 3,399 people had said who some, some form of who are you um, so go back over here that's how you specify that now if you um, don't have one that's working you can create a new one or you can you know connect it to another group if you want uh, you can also forward uh, inbound messages that trigger this responder and you can forward it to whatever phone number you want. Of course, you have to click activate if you do. Um, and then here's the, a very important thing, and it's kind of complicated, but it's good to know. Accuracy control. So you have the option of being strict match, which basically means I want the inbound message to only contain exactly one of the phrases we have set in the keywords list. So it could be a single keyword or phrase. These are separated by commas. Um, and make sure you don't put any punctuation. I mean, just try to take all that out um, and then separate your phrases by commas. And that way the system knows, okay, if it says, wait, who's this again, question um, mark, then we want it to respond. So make sure you do that. Now, if you slide it all the way over to loose match, it basically means does that one of my keyword phrases appear anywhere in the message, right? So it could be, um, you know, just one portion of the message and the rest of the message is about something else. Do I want it to trigger? Now, generally, you want to have this right underneath the L around 80%, um, and that way it's not matching on anything. But if you see it matching too much on things that it shouldn't, go ahead and scroll it to the left. If it's not triggering enough and it's missing, uh, move it to the right. 
and you can find your find your balance for your particular audience. Now, pattern blocking, this right here is um, based on the phone number, right? So you might have 000, right? So if you have an inbound text message from a phone number that has four zeros in it, you don't want this to trigger. It's probably a short code or you know a carrier message about your bill or something. Who knows? Um, if you start running into stuff like that, you can put block messages, uh, block patterns in here. So that's the basics and some of the advanced stuff of why these are important. Now let's get more into how these affect your revenue, right? So if somebody asks who is this and you don't have a good answer, immediately they're going to think you're spam. Uh, if they ask you things like, uh, or maybe they just say simple things like thanks or thank you, right? And you can specify your response. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day. That makes a big difference for gaining um, that particular prospect's trust. Now, one of the things you can do in here is, like this one, we put some additional thank yous in here, some additional keywords, um, and then also ones that I don't want it to respond to. So if somebody says, no thank you or no thanks I don't want my reply to say you're welcome that wouldn't make any sense right so that's how you kind of coordinate the difference between your keywords and your blocked keywords now there's a lot of um, responders in here so it's a good idea to go through and modify each one of these to say what you would say if you manually had to text somebody um, now these right here are our standard tab, like I said. So these are pre-installed on every account as soon as you start. Now, in custom, you can create your own custom responders, right? Obviously, these aren't going to have huge libraries backing them already because you're, you're making them up. So these take a little bit more work, um, but they're also really good to use. And we actually have some advanced templates. Um, so if you already purchased and you purchased our um, our paid uh, setup and all that, we'll put all these in here for you, the basics, and we'll help you modify them and all that. But if you don't, you know, go down here and um, ask, you know, if we have any specials going on right now because we may be able to just hook you up with those advanced templates for free. Um, otherwise, you know, once in a while we're doing a special and, you know, if you upgrade or, you know, things like that, we'll give them out. Um, but the basics are... You know, conversational stuff. So somebody might say, um, let's say it's an uh, initial greeting. Let's say it's greeting right here. Um, so they might say stuff like bonjour or good afternoon or, you know, all these different types of keywords. Hi, you know, that kind of thing. And you specify your response. How are you? Right? Uh, how's your day going? Or I hope your day is going amazing. Um, and you can specify what group you want that to go into you know that kind of thing and those are really important for um, setting up your follow-ups now the secret sauce once you have a really good conversational responder system um, then you're gonna wanna be able to follow up with people automatically based on what they said um, and that is the topic of our next video which are scheduled messages and we're gonna go through these timed responders um, so you can see how they work and why they're so important so thanks for watching this video. Oh wait, I forgot one more, one more tip. Okay, so in advanced, um, go ahead and you, you're probably going to want to use these two. So second response and third response. These basically just mean um, it's a second interaction with that consumer or that prospect. And third, sometimes you don't care what they say. You just want the next message to go out, and you don't have any keywords. This is where you would do that. Second and third. Um, so that covers that. So thank you so much for watching this. And on the next video, again, I'll, I'll share with you how to set up your automatic follow-ups that follow up with people based on what they've said, which autoresponders they've triggered, um, and how that actually is going to make a big difference in your return on investment with our platform. So thanks again and have a great day.